Hello and welcome to the first video for Introduction to Clinical Laboratory Science. In this presentation, we're going to go over some of the basics, what to expect in this course, and how to be successful in Introduction to Clinical Laboratory Science. So, the first thing you need to do as an online student is log into Blackboard. And when you log into Blackboard, it'll look similar to what you see right here. The only difference is that you probably won't see as many classes over in the right hand column. So once you identify the course, Introduction to Clinical Laboratory Science, select that link and it will take you to the landing page for Intro to Clinical Laboratory Science, which is the announcements tab. Now in the announcements tab, I will periodically send announcements to the class, perhaps study guides or other important due dates coming up, which will land right here on the announcements tab. One of the first things I want you to do is on the left hand side, select the start here tab. And from the start here tab, we can read over some housekeeping items. So first off, welcome to intro to clinical laboratory science, read over this and uh, how to be successful in this course this is an incredibly important part. Make sure that you read over this section thoroughly. Following that, we're going to have the week one checklist. The week one checklist, I want everybody to complete the first week of class. The week one checklist includes the online orientation and the statement of understanding, as well as an ACC email. For the online orientation, I want you to first read over the syllabus and then follow this link, or you can find it here at the bottom of this page and complete the online orientation. The next item is to read over the syllabus and complete the statement of understanding quiz. This lets me know that you have read over the syllabus, are aware of the policies for the course and the program that this course is a part of. Lastly, I want you to send me an email using your ACC Gmail account. You can do this one of two ways. You could log in to Gmail uh, on your ACC account, or you could send me an email through Blackboard following these instructions right here. So uh, this will be the navigating introduction to clinical laboratory science, which is what you should be watching right now. Next, we have the instructor biography. If you want to know a little bit more about myself, you can follow this link. You can uh, read about me right here. This is myself, the one with the beard, and this is my youngest son, Dalton who is not teaching this class. He's just photobombing my profile picture. Next, we have the course schedule. So for relevant due dates for the course, you can find them by looking here. Intro to Clinical Laboratory Science Schedule. We will have the first thing, which will be the lab tour. I'll get into more detail about that here in a second. Um, I want you to read the uh, syllabus, of course, complete the online orientation, statement of understanding. We will have a course project due later in the semester where students are required to sign up for one of a handful of lab tours that I will prepare. And then you just respond to a post for which tour you would be interested in attending. So following this, we have the first unit. Uh, here are the objectives, the narrated lecture, uh, and the PowerPoints for this, followed by the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth units. So uh, relevant due dates include the uh, first and the second exam, uh, followed by the final exam, and the paper for the course project for the lab tour assignment. So that is where you can find relevant due dates in the schedule tab. Next, we have the course content, which is going to be the bulk of what you're going to find on this website. We have, again, the lab course project. So to find the directions on how to complete the lab course project, select that. The directions can be found right here in either a Word document or PDF, depending on what type of device you're using. So read over that early. Next, we have the first unit of the course. This course, side note, is six units, and it'll be broken down into those different sections, and we will begin with our first unit, Introduction to Laboratory Medicine. 
So select the Intro to Laboratory Medicine, and you're going to see, first off, an overview for this unit and what we're going to be discussing in this section of the course. Uh, also important to note, if I put anything in bold or I render a word or a sentence in a different color, it's probably a good idea to know that information in particular. So I'm doing that for a reason. If I underline something for wave testing operators, uh, no certification or education requirements, that's probably pretty important for you to know. So make sure that you're familiar with those things. So first off, we have the overview for each unit. Next, we have the objectives for each of the unit. In order to be successful in this course, it's imperative that for each unit, you're very familiar with the objectives and what it is I expect the learning outcome for the students to be. So in order to familiarize yourself with that, you can uh, memorize the objectives here. Next, we have the presentation in a PDF format. And if uh, you prefer, there are narrated lectures here. Each presentation is broken up into three units. They're about 10 to 20 minutes long a piece. And you can uh, view those here. Lastly, for each unit, we have the assignment. This is the unit one assignment. You can select this link and complete this assignment here. So each of the other five units will be laid out in the exact same order. So uh, under course content, you'll find the overview, the objectives, the, uh, the PDF of the presentation for that unit, then the narrated lectures followed by the assignment. So uh, again, to know when all of that is due, just stick to the schedule tab here to find out exactly when the due date for that unit will be. Next, we have the uh, exams, which we'll go ahead and talk about now. So there will be three exams for this course. The first exam, which you can find the due date uh, here, which will be updated because this will be from a previous semester. Uh, or you could find the due date in the schedule tab. Next, we have the second exam, um, which again, you can find the due date in the schedule tab, followed by the practice exam, which I suggest everybody take before they go in to take their final exam. And the final exam will be required to be taken uh, on campus at a certified ACC testing center. So, all the exams uh, except the final exam can be taken from home and the final exam will need to be taken here um, on any ACC campus. So make sure that you look ahead of the testing hours and uh, go at an appropriate time and don't schedule it at the last minute because I do believe they close 30 minutes before the testing center actually closes and you won't be allowed to take your test beyond 30 minutes from closing. So uh, I did mention just a second ago that this course is gonna have a lab tour project where I will reach out to a few labs throughout the Austin area. I'll ask um, if anybody's interested in accommodating some of our students for a lab tour. I'll have a few options available. Those options will be posted in the discussion board here. And um, this semester, we had a lab tour at St. David's South Austin Medical Center, St. David's North Austin Medical Center, and St. David's Round Rock. So look over these, decide which tour is going to be the most appropriate for you. We'll have the host information, the location of the site that will be hosting us, uh, where we will be meeting, the date that tour will be held, and the time of day that tour will be held. So I'll try to get these arranged early in the semester. All I ask is that you <clears throat> click on the link for the lab tour that suits your schedule and simply reply with your name, giving me the name uh, of the student that's going to be attending that tour. That way I get an idea, I can pass that on to the host so they know how many students to expect from our class. So I do ask that students um, try to go into the discussion board and reply to a lab tour that will accommodate their schedule early on in the semester so we can get that locked down. 
If you have any questions throughout the semester, feel free to click on the email tab. You can post a question to the entire class by selecting all users. If you want it to be more personal or directly to me, um, you can select uh, select users and you could find who it is you want to email. If you want to email just me, you can select Scott Brewster, put it over in the right hand column and then send me an email, put a heading on there and then uh, type out the message that you want to send me. If you want it just to go to me, this is how you need to do it. Additionally, uh, side note, this will also be how you send out emails uh, for the week one housekeeping uh, task list. I'm going to ask that you send me an email just so I know that you know that you're registered in this course and that you have access to email. So that is going to conclude the uh, presentation, the start here presentation. And of course, if anybody has any questions throughout the semester, feel free to reach out by email. And uh, I hope you enjoy the course. So take care.